And here you have complete coverage of the Gulf oil spill, right here. Because this is who is running the Gulf oil spill. And the numbers and the information that is coming out of the Gulf of Mexico is directly related to this particular entity in the world. Because this entity represents lies and deceits and corruption among the political parties and especially the newspaper reporters that are unwilling to tell us the truth. This is costing people hundreds of millions of dollars daily and they are telling us that it is not important. Nothing could be further from the truth. And if you want the truth, here's the truth. 99% of all politicians, and we're going to add a word here, newspaper reporters, Therefore, 99% of all politicians and newspaper reporters are 100% corrupt. Because, ladies and gentlemen, they have the numbers necessary to tell us what's at the bottom of that well. And if they don't, here they are, right here for you. I will explain this to you in simple terms, and in less than two and a half minutes, you'll be able to comprehend how much oil is coming out of the ground based on the original numbers that were given to the people at the pressure called head pressure that was coming out of a seven inch inside diameter pipe in the Gulf of Mexico that they have changed the numbers and statistics on since day one for 33 days and the last 17 or 18 days you hear nothing about head pressure numbers which is the only number that you can utilize in order to compensate for how much oil is coming out of that pipe based on the diameter of the pipe and the pressure behind it. But here's the numbers. Based on the diameter of the pipe, which is approximately 21 inches ID, that's what they say, is what you have is approximately 316 cubic inches of space. Let us look at it like this. If a garden hose pumped out 20 gallons per minute and it was one inch in diameter, you would have approximately 316 garden hoses inside the radius, inside the diameter of the pipe. Let's say this is the pipe because this fella is certainly coming out of the pipe. There's no doubt that what's happening here is based on this entity. Okay. You have a 21 inch pipe and you have 300 cubic inches, 300 cubic inches, 316, but 300 cubic inches is a low number at 20 psi coming out of the pipe, which turns into 600 gallons per minute minimum at 100 psi. Take that 600 gallons per minute at 100 psi and times it by 60 minutes and you have 3,600 gallons per minute. 3,600 gallons per minute. Enough fluid to fill up an 18 foot by 4 foot pool in about 4 minutes. Take that 3,600 gallons per minute and times it by 24 hours, you come up with 86,400 gallons per day. I'll say that number again. 86,400 gallons per day. Take that number and times it by five because that is the minimum amount of pressure that is coming out of that pipe. Based on the original numbers that BP expressed on day one, there was 5,000 psi coming out of a seven inch pipe. A seven inch pipe has the flow rate of 5,000 psi if you, broke, if you expanded that pipe to 21 inches, you would have approximately one-fifth the pressure, or 1,225 psi. Well, we're not going to work with that number, because that's a real number. Let's work with a low number. Let's work with 500 psi. 500 psi times 86,400 gallons per day comes out to 43 million gallons a day, roughly. 43 million gallons a day divided by 40 gallons per barrel, roughly, comes out to 
hundred thousand barrels of oil per day coming out of that oil well that BP says is not a significant amount of oil. We won't even get into the dispersant. But I will explain something to you about the dispersant before we move on to the real numbers coming out of the pipe itself. The dispersant that BP uses, called Corex, if you placed your hand in that dispersant, or if a person's body was placed into that dispersant for a period of about three minutes, all the epidermis on the entire body or the portion of the hand that was placed into the product itself would start to turn into like a slimy film. It makes the degreaser called purple degreaser or that is sold in the automotive stores seem like child's play. This stuff dissolves skin in three minutes the first four or five layers of your skin have turned into a slimy substance and if you took a, a simple playing card or a matchbook you could scratch the skin off your body. And this is the dispersant that BP is telling you is not harmful to sea creatures. This is the dispersant that they are saying is not responsible for 18 dolphins and dozens of turtles that would live 200 years, excuse me, that would live a hundred years without being interfered with and now we are there are hundreds of them showing up on shore moving back to the numbers and the fact that 99 percent of all politicians and in this particular case newspaper reporters are 100 percent corrupt we are going to move back to that 500 psi number which actually isn't real so Based on the original numbers that BP gave us at 5,000 PSI head pressure coming out of a 7-inch pipe, what you have is 1,225 PSI, or 2.5 times this estimated 43 million gallons, which is exactly, well, 2.5 times 43 is approximately 110 million gallons to, an, yeah, to 110 million gallons of fluid coming out of the pipe per day. 110 million gallons or 22,000 barrels of oil. 22,000 barrels of oil is four times the original estimate that BP says. And these numbers based on the original first day number, knowing that BP can't tell the truth, hasn't told the truth, refuses to tell the truth, and won't tell us the truth in the long run, these numbers are based on a 5,000 PSI estimate that the experts in the beginning, and this is an attainable number, if you can Google the first few days articles, you can go back and find out that BP estimated the he head pressure at that 7 inch well at somewhere between 5,000 and 17,000 PSI because the pressure was fluctuating which was what caused the problem and the seals to blow apart in the first place. Now a typical well is in nowhere near 5,000 PSI but this apparently isn't a typical well, and they had head pressures up to 17,000 PSI. So the fact of the matter is that this 43 million gallons could very well be 80 million gallons a day, or 20,000 barrels of oil a day, without batting an eyelash. And why aren't we being told? Because they know how much damage this is going to do in the long run. I live in the Florida Keys for a two ounce amount of oil that a person has in a 30 foot boat. If it's a second offense, they'll give you a $10,000 fine for having raw oil in the bilge of your boat. These people are pumping 20,000 barrels of oil into the Gulf of Mexico on every, each and every day, and the Coast Guard doesn't say anything about this? This is insane! 
This is absolutely ludicrous. This is the worst catastrophe that has ever happened to the United States of America. It's in the beginning of the history of the damn recording. These people are pumping 100,000 gallons of oil into the Gulf of Mexico a day saying it's not going to affect the lifestyle of the fishes. It's already affecting millions upon millions of people. It's brought the property values down 15% in the last three weeks. No one is coming here for vacation. No one is going to come here for vacation in June. If we get one drop of oil on the beach, it'll be a hundred billion dollar nightmare. And yet, we are being lied to, once again, by the politicians, which are 100% corrupt. 99% of every politician in every newspaper is 100% corrupt. And I hope that you enjoyed this little sermon, because I'm nothing more than a very good carpenter, and never have been. And all of a sudden, I have to figure out BP's mess so that they can understand what they're doing to the Gulf of Mexico. Here, you want to see a picture of VP? Here you go, right here. A picture of BP. This is a picture of the politicians that represent the United States of America that aren't telling us the truth. The dozens that are not, are, this is a representation of them and... This is a representation of the newspaper reporters that refuse to give us the real numbers existing in today. They keep giving us numbers from four days ago and downplaying everything. This is ridiculous. This is insane. This is ludicrous. This is absolutely pure and utter evil what they are doing to us. This is the Gulf of Mexico. You don't know how many millions of people depend on this industry, fishing industry, lobster industry, uh, shrimp industry, fishing, whales, everything. This is crazy. They are lying to us. Every day it gets worse. When is it going to stop?